space let v be the set of elements on which two operations called vector addition and scalar multiplication are defined let v be the set of elements on which two operations called vector addition and scalar multiplication are defined then v is said to be a vector space v is said to be a vector space if it satisfies the following 10 properties if it satisfies the following 10 properties once more let v be the set of elements on which two operations called vector addition and scalar multiplication are defined then v is said to be a vector space if it satisfies the following 10 properties okay first property that is axiom for vector addition first property is if x and y are in v if x and y are in v then x plus y in v then x plus y in v if two elements are in v then their sum in v this property is known as closure property for vector addition this property is known as closure property for vector addition okay second property for all x comma y in v for all x comma y in v then x plus y equal to y plus x x plus y equal to y plus x this is known as commutative law once more first property is if x and y are in v then its sum in v that is x plus y in v this property is known as closure property second property is for all x comma y in v then x plus y equal to y plus x that is commutative law third property for all x comma y comma z in v if x y z in v then x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z this is associative law third property for all x comma y comma z in v then x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z this is associative law fourth property there is a unique vector 0 in v 0 in v such that 0 plus x equal to x plus 0 0 plus x is equal to x plus 0 once more fourth property is there is a unique vector 0 in v such that 0 plus x is equal to x plus 0 this law is known as existence of zero vector existence of zero vector next fifth property for each x in v there exists a vector minus x such that x plus minus x is equal to 0 equal to minus x plus x once more fifth property is for each x in v there exists a vector minus x such that x plus minus x is equal to 0 that is equal to minus x plus 0 this property is known as existence of negative vector existence of negative vector okay next is sixth property it includes in 6 7 8 9 10 includes in axiom for scalar multiplication okay sixth property is if k is any scalar if k is any scalar and x is in v then kx is in v then kx is in v if k is any scalar and x is in v then kx is in v okay property is k into x plus y equal to kx plus ky k into x plus y equal to kx plus ky this is distributive law this is distributive law next eighth property k1 plus k2x is equal to k1x plus k2x k1 plus k2x is equal to k1x plus k2x this is also distributive law ninth property k1 into k2x equal to k1 k2x k1 k2x is equal to k1 k2x tenth property 1 into x is equal to x 1 into x is equal to x if we satisfies these 10 properties these 10 properties under vector addition and scalar multiplication then we say that v is a vector space then v is a vector space okay
Example 1. Show that the set of all real numbers is a vector space. Show that the set of all real numbers is a vector space. Set of all real numbers we denoted as capital R. Capital R is the set of all, the set of all real numbers. Set of all real numbers. If R satisfies the 10 properties of vector space, then we say that R is a vector space. First property, we check the first property. First property is the closure property under vector addition. That is, first if uh, we take any two elements in R, then it's sum in R. For example, if we take x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 by 2, okay, then we, then x plus y is equal to, we get 2 plus 1 by 2, that is equal to 2.5, which is belongs to R, okay. Then satisfy, R satisfies the closure property. Now we check the second property, commutative law. For all x, y in R, x plus y equal to y plus x here. For all x, y in R, then x plus y equal to y plus x. For example, we take x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. 5.5. y equal to 5.5. We get x plus y equal to 2 plus 5.5 that is equal to 7.5. y plus x is equal to 5.5 plus 2 that is equal to 7.5. That means it satisfies this property for every element in R. Next is associative law. Third property is associative law. For all x, y, z belongs to R. For any three elements in R, okay, belongs to R, then it satisfies this property. x plus y plus z is equal to x plus y plus z. For example, if we take x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 0 0.5, okay, then first part x plus y plus z is equal to here putting the values we get 1 plus 2 plus 0 0.5 that is equal to we get that is equal to 1 plus 2.5 that is equal to 3.5 next is x plus y plus z is equal to here x is 1 plus y is 2 plus z is 0.5, we get 3 plus 0 0.5, that is equal to 3.5. That means, if we take any three elements in R, it satisfies this property, that is associative property. Clear? Next, fourth property, existence of zero vector. Existence of zero vector. There is a unique vector 0 in R. There is a unique vector 0 in R such that 0 plus x is equal to x that is equal to x plus 0. For example, if we take x is equal to 2, then 0 plus x is equal to 0 plus x is equal to 0 plus 2 that is equal to 2. Okay, if it satisfies this property. Also, uh, x plus 0, x plus 0 is equal to 2 plus 0 that is equal to 2. Okay, take any element in R, it satisfies this property. Okay, the fourth property satisfied. Next property is fifth property, existence of negative vector. Existence of negative vector. For each x in R, for each x in R, there exists a vector minus x such that x plus minus x is equal to 0, that is equal to minus x plus 0. For example, if we take x is equal to 2, then minus x is equal to minus 2. Okay, then x plus minus x equal to, here x is 2 plus minus x is minus 2. We get 2 plus minus 2 equal to 0. It satisfies this property. Also, minus x plus x, that is equal to, here minus x is minus 2, minus 2 plus 2. 2. 
that is equals to 0. We get x plus minus x equal to 0 that is equal to minus x plus x. Satisfies the fifth property existence of negative vector. Next the property if k is any scalar and x is in r. If k is any scalar and x, x in r then kx in r. Then kx in r. If k is any scalar and x in r then kx is in r. Okay. It satisfies the sixth property. So it satisfies the 7, 8, 9 and 10th property. K into 7th property is K into X plus Y equal to KX plus KY. It's satisfied. Real number, a set of real numbers satisfies this property. And also 8th property K1 plus K2 into X is equal to K1 X plus K2X. And also the 9th property K1 into K2X is equal to K1 into K2X. Uh, also 10th property 1X is equal to X. Uh, set of real numbers satisfies these 10 properties. Then we say that the set of real number is a vector space. The set of real number is a vector space. Okay, clear?